Freda Innescourt. Freda Innescourt, born Freda Reitman, 29 June 1901, 26 February 1976, was a Scottish-born actress best known for creating the role of Sorrel Bliss in Noel Coward's play Hay Fever on Broadway. She also played the shingled lady in John Galsworthy's 1927 Broadway production Escape. Early Years Born in Edinburgh, Innescourt was the daughter of Scots-born journalist John Jock Reitman and actress Elaine Innescourt, who was of German and Polish descent. They married in 1896, but parted ways when their daughter was still a young child. While she lived in Britain, Innescourt wrote for a newspaper in London and worked as secretary to Lord Astore. Another source says that she was secretary to Lady Astore. After going to the United States, she not only acted but also worked as associate editor of the Exporters Encyclopedia. Stage page. Innescourt's acting debut came in The Truth About Blades 1922, which was presented at the Booth Theatre on Broadway. Her other Broadway credits include You and I 1923, The Woman on the Jury 1923, Windows 1923, the Fake 1924, Ariadne 1925, Hay Fever 1925. Film, film. Freda Reitman adopted her mother's surname as her professional name and moved to Hollywood and made her film debut in The Dark Angel 1935. Her other films include Mary of Scotland 1936, Give Me Your Heart 1936, The Letter 1940, the Trial of Mary Dugan, 1941, You'll Never Get Rich, 1941, and A Place in the Sun, 1951. She appeared with Lawrence Olivier and Greer Garson as the conniving Caroline Bingley in the 1940 film version of Pride and Prejudice. She had a leading role in Call It a Day, a 1937 film in which she appeared with Olivia de Havilland, Benita Grandel, Roland Young, and Ian Hunter. In 1955, Innescourt appeared as Mrs. Lawrence in the movie Foxfire starring Jeff Chandler and Jane Russell. She appeared in one episode of Perry Mason as Hope Quentin in the case of the Jealous Journalist, season 5, 1961. Personal Life On 2 August 1961, she and her husband since 1926, Ben Ray Redmond, dined out. Redmond had been despondent for some time. Returning home before her, he went upstairs to bed. He then called Freda, informing her that he was depressed over the state of the world and had taken twelve sedative pills. By the time the paramedics arrived, he had died, a suicide at the age of 65. He had been working as a writer for the Saturday Review and was involved in the translation of European classics into English. Innescourt had been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1932. Her disease accelerated after her husband's death, and she was using a wheelchair by the mid-1960s. On 7 July 1964, her estranged mother, British actress Elaine Innescourt, died in Brighton, England, aged 87. Freda worked as much as possible for the funding of multiple sclerosis research. She was often seen in the Hollywood area seated in her wheelchair collecting donations outside supermarkets and in malls. Death Innescourt died at the age of 74 at the Motion Picture Country Home at Woodland Hills, California, from multiple sclerosis. Partial Filmography 